Okay, let's stay tuned to get these poor dogs done for this customer's order here. Okay, guys, so I just realized that uh, apparently we had a little bit of sound problems on the first half of the video. It's uh, the mic kept apparently cutting in and out, and we didn't have much sound. So here's the dog. It's got a base coat of black on it. It's a tricolored dog. So we're going to let this black dry before we get carried away with it. And I also have to add a tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a 2x6, probably. 2x4, 2x6, probably a 2x6. I'll attach it underneath, recess it. Wrap it around with the leg, sturdies it up pretty good, gets the grain going the right direction for the tail. And because these guys, again, are getting shipped, uh, I think they're going to Michigan, I believe. But anyways, so here's the dog. We've got about two hours into it, probably. Uh, and that's after letting the log dry for about a week, week and a half. Um, and that's, you know, just one dog here. I still got to paint it. It takes just about as long to paint them as it does to carve them. But uh, as you can see, a little bit of reflection here. Black paint is so hard to tell if you get it covered or not. It usually takes two coats. Because you usually will find either a spot that looks like reflection or it'll be actual paint. One of the two. Might actually be wood, you never know. But alrighty, stay tuned. Well, we got this beautiful looking dog here. And if you guys notice anything, that. Watch this baby move. She's gonna pop right off. Bam. Well, I think we're gonna have to start all over now. What do you guys think? Now it's a pug. All right, so we put a little bit of uh, clear, non-foaming Gorilla Glue, smeared the living crap out of it. Clamped it temporarily. Come in here, we'll sink a couple three inch screws. The reason I don't use dowels is because if you screwed a dowel or a hole and ran a dowel through here, as this wood shrinks, it pulls back. That dowel being kiln dried does not shrink. It leaves a little quarter inch tab sticking out. Lesson learned the hard way. Okay, got our screws put in there, recessed just a little bit so I can sand it. 
We're gonna wipe off any excess glue. We don't need it dripping all over our tools. It'll get sanded off anyway, so not too particular about it. And then the stuff I like to use to fill the holes is this stuff. Um, here it is. It's called PC Wood Repairs and Lumber. It's an epoxy putty. It's like a natural, kind of a darker than pine colored wood. You mix it up, smear it in the holes. It's hard within like 10 minutes. Sand it, paint it, go on your way. It finishes curing inside the dogs. No worries about it, melts messing up. That's what I hid all of my screws and my Velociraptor with. So if any of you followed me on that TikTok post, this is entirely laminated. And every one of these has got a screw hole right there. You can kind of see a little bit of it. Pulled away. Okay. Left it a little bit high right here in these screw holes. So that can be sanded off. Fill in these excess little holes. Just buff them off. Do it while it's wet. Flawless little fill. Not for every job out there, but. And just pay well. You really want a quality piece. Now you got her done. Look at that. Now when you sand it, all of it will be perfectly smooth. No flaws. Cool beans. Okay, everybody's favorite part, the torching part. You can see the uh, wetter wood here didn't really take much of a burn. It'll dry off here in a little while. We'll be able to sand and buff it all together. Okay, now the buff. Okay, buffed, sanded slightly. You can kind of see my glue line because it held a lot of the soot. That's not gonna matter. We're gonna do a base color black on it real quick. And then after some of the other details get on it, we're going to go back and add a tail and blend it in. I'm just trying to do all the blocking work right now. Kate's inside doing all the touch-up on the tricolor ones. This is a long-haired tricolor. The other one's a long-haired or short-haired tricolor. And that one there is a Brittany, which is a medium coat dog too. Um, so yeah, and Soleil's thinking he's going to get help paint, I guess. He's only got three legs, so he can't hold the paint. Okay, base color on, still wet. You can see it's shiny. If you look really close you can just see where the glue is still a little wet yet on the paint but on this side here where we buffed it off a little bit better you can see almost no visible line or sign the muzzle is ever off and same goes for the screw holes you can see the stuff holds moisture just a little bit but it'll dry in no time okay base color black on this is black tricolor we'll let it dry and then yeah We'll go from there. On to the next one. Okay, guys. So, dog number four of this guy's order. Uh, it's gonna be a uh, two foot German Shepherd. Uh, the reason we're doing two foot so life size on these is because that's the tallest dogs I'm shipping. Uh, I've shipped too many three footers. It involves crates, you know, massive wooden crates, tons of plywood, two by fours, pallets. It gets expensive talking I think I spent like $400 shipping a dog to Utah and it gets there and the paint's scuffed or it's got mildew from the travel or something like that. So we only do two foot ones. 
So here's gonna be a German Shepherd we're working on, two foot. Uh, German Shepherds are tricky. The head is never right. Uh, so I drew it on here, proportionally correct. Um, we'll see how it goes. It always changes, never fails. No matter what I do, they always change. So we do have a few cracks that we'll have to work around a little bit. I'll show you guys here in a second. Okay, so you guys can see it's a half log out of one of them out there. Remember to talk about that death crack and anyways. So basically, this is the remnants of that death crack right here, right? So we just got a little bit here, nothing too much. Uh, there's a little bit of one right here that probably will try to, you know, probably only lets go to here. The rest of it's probably solid. Um, I'll probably tack a screw in here anyways, just be on the safe side. But so we got to get rid of all of this. It kind of wanders to the backside like right here. I mean, that's not much. We're probably going to cave the head end right here. The only thing it might interfere with is the ear a little bit because we kind of need as much of this ear as possible. If you notice the head, I guess so right here would be straight on the dog's body. The head is slightly angled. I do that so I can get the absolute most out of a piece of wood. As you can see so far, I have straps, that, 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 and there's one little piece right there behind that chicken, and I will keep that, and I will keep that, and the rest of those are going to go in the drink pot. Uh, so we try to use everything possible. I mean, those pieces right there are going to be for uh, a bunch of cardinals. We're going to take a bunch of baby with us. Uh, we're going to have some inventory for that show. So if you guys are out there and about, make sure you check it out. I think going to have some pretty sweet, uh, well, it's a chainsaw part of rendezvous, and the uh, Keystone State Carving Competition will be there competing in that one. Um, I'm mainly just going to see a bunch more carving for that you've never met yet, so have a good time and do that. All right, stay tuned. We're going to get some more work done. As you guys can see, starting to take some shape. Ears look a little like a husky still, but we'll get there. See the side profile starting to look good. This side's a little farther down just because you never cut straight. As you can see, we're doing pretty good on scraps. That's all we've gotten so far. Uh, other than that, pile over there, a couple chunks we're getting bigger at, keeping. But yeah, profile's looking good, taking shape, keep whittling away. Okay guys, so here's the base color paint on the German Shepherd. We got her pretty well nailed down. Again, same thing as the other ones, tail on the end. We're gonna attach it to the base, this way it doesn't get broke during shipping. And hopefully we get some black on this guy. It's a little cold today, it's only in the 20s. Um, so I guess we'll see how it goes and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, we got all four dogs done now. We got our Beagle mix, we got our Brittany, we've got our German Shepherd, and we've got the, I'm not even sure which kind of mix it is. It's like a Border Collie or a Bernese Mountain Dog mix with something else. It's real petite built though. But there's all four of them are. Now to get individual photos, post them and see how people think of them. <laughs> 